He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. 1 John 4 verse 8. If a person claims to love and know God, but it is clear in their actions that they are not loving towards the people around them, then this means that they actually do not know God. God is the epitome of love, and we cannot have a relationship with him if we do not express who he really is. Luke 6 verse 27 says, But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you. This is probably one of the most difficult commands that Christ asks us to keep, to love our enemies, and do good to those who mean us harm. If someone hates you or is out to get you, or has hurt you or tried to destroy you, the last thing you want to do is help them, let alone love them. But the difficulty of the task is what makes it so incredibly fulfilling. You have to completely surrender to God for this to happen. There can be nothing left of self. This total submission to the will of God is what allows him to pour into you. When we humble ourselves enough to pray for our enemies or love those who would destroy us, we create more room for him. In our obedience, we have brought blessings on ourselves. We grow in Christ in tremendous ways when we completely surrender our will to him. Devotion topic is, I have appointed you. We have all been chosen to be disciples of God, to spread the good news concerning the coming of the kingdom. We might be afraid that we are not up to the task, much as Jeremiah was. But just as God spoke to Jeremiah promising to help him, he is with us as well. Though without the witness of the early disciples, we would not know of Jesus. Without our witness, how will future generations come to know Jesus? How will we know what to say? What will others think about us? But God is by our side helping us giving us the words we need at the right time. Our job is to look for opportunities. Once on a cruise ship, a woman stood next to me, and the conversation turned to God. We had a wonderful conversation about our faith, our trust and confidence in God. I don't know if anyone else heard us, but we didn't care. Sometimes these conversations begin when a friend tells us about a loved one being sick, and we offer to pray for them. Sometimes it comes after a political ed or speech. More often a discussion might evolve because of a tragedy, either from a weather incident, or after one of the many terrorist attacks the world has dealt with in the past few years. In any case, it's important for us to be open about our faith, and also willing to listen to the views of others. We have been appointed, we need to accept the responsibility to spread the good news. If you enjoy this video please like and comment telling us that you enjoy it, and remember to subscribe and turn on your notification bell that way you will not miss any of our videos.